Hello everyone and welcome back to another Houdini tutorial. Today we're going to be studying clouds in the new version of Houdini in 17.0.352. So, just a thing to note, a lot of things have changed <laughs> in this new version of Houdini. But, we're going to start by creating a new geo node. And as you can see, in the new version, there's no default geo when you when you create the geo node, so you don't get that default square that you might see in the older versions. It's just empty. And that's normal. So we're gonna put down a sphere. And we're gonna change it into a polygon and we're gonna crank up the frequencies. Then we're going to go to We're going to go to clip and put that down. And as you can see, this is going to give our cloud like a good, you know, flat effect on the bottom. So hopefully it works out. Put down a mountain to add some deformation to our cloud. Um, we will add more de deformation on top of this, but you know what? Customize your cloud a bit. There's a bunch of different ways to go about this. I'm going off of a custom cloud. Um, you can also go up here to the cloud effects and you've got your default cloud rigs up there, clouds, cloud noise, cloud light, etc. But we're gonna build this from scratch just for fun. Um, go to cloud. And my scene, as you saw I added here, was an environment light. I'm also going to add a skylight. Um, a go good thing to note about clouds is that they are, if you were to think about it from a natural perspective, they are water particles in the air reflecting light. So whatever you have reflect reflecting around the cloud is going to reflect on the cloud. So I'm going to enable my sky environment map for this. Um, you can bring up the resolution, which is really nice, the sky, the ground. And you can change things. It's customizable, which is really nice. You've got infinite horizon, you've got mirror, none. I'm gonna just stick on infinite horizon. So, we're going to create cloud noise next. Um, back down. As you can see in the new version of Houdini, we can't really see a cloud in our cloud node. I'm, what we're going to do is we're going to crank up the sampling divisions. Um, we're also going to, before we modify, change anything about with our cloud noise, we're also just going to create our node tree first. So we're going to go and create cloud light. Cloud lights are fun, but as you can see, it needs a requested light point. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an object merge node and in that object merge node we're going to place our skylight and we're just going to click that and we're going to go to the render view just to check on things this might take a little while as you can see there's nothing there <laughs> um so i'm going to go back up to the cloud um, source is a polygon model. When you troubleshoot in Houdini, this is what happens. Okay, so we know. Aha! Okay, so it is our nodes on top of that. Cool. Got a note. What I think I'm going to do is go back up here. What could be happening is that it's not extruded. So I'm going to extrude this and see what happens. And I'm going to click output back and hmm, I don't know. Ooh, bad. <laughs> That's what happens when you can hit alt. Wouldn't recommend that. I think I'm gonna just go like that for now. 
you can see we do have some wayward polygons, but you know, there we go. There's our cloud. We see it now. So we just need more geometry. So we'll render that and see what happens. And as you can see, it's not reflecting anything, but we know it's there, which is really nice. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to our cloud and add more sampling divisions on our cloud. Super fun. Um, so as you noticed in the new version of Houdini, there's new functions on our clouds. So we can do mess around with the density multiplier. We can make it a little bit more dense, just like me. Um, go up like that. And we can fool around with the way we want to build our cloud, which is really nice. Sorry, I keep on hitting that. Um, so our cloud noise. You're gonna let the, we're gonna let this load for a second because the more you crank up your subdivisions, the more longer it takes to rebuild. So we're just gonna wait for that and we'll see what happens. So, sorry about this, but my computer can't handle Houdini because she's too amazing. Um, Houdini, not my computer. <laughs> so I'm going to crank down the subdivisions just so I don't crash it. And I'm, then I'm going to go down to my cloud noise. And as well this is cooking, um, oh, there we go. There's our cloud. Um, I'm going to point out some new features that... As you can see, Houdini kind of rearranged the bottom half of it. So down here you've got, on the left side now, is your real-time toggle. So we're going to flip that on just when we go animate and stuff. Um, so we're going to add our cloud light. But the, you can see the default noise is really nice already. So we might not change that too much. We zoom in. Render it out, see what happens. That's a nice cloud. You can already see some curl coming off. It's all bouncy and fluffy. And so one thing I can show you right now in Houdini is that you can actually animate the cloud noise. And you can do this with almost any transform option in Houdini and almost any node as well. So if you go to keyframes, you can set a keyframe wherever you want and then change the values. I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. I'm going to let you experiment on your own, but that's how you build a cloud in Houdini. Honestly, you can add any geometry you like and just build it like that and you will get a cloud. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Kate and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.